Hey guys, Nigel here from Aquarium Central and it's Friday, so it is a live fish unboxing and typical Friday, not all the fish have turned up but I'm sure they're going to turn up soon and hopefully in time to get them out for this order. However, we have lots to go through today. We've had lots and lots and lots of fish turn up today because of the public holiday on Monday. Uh, the fish have all been coming in at the end of the week. I hope you guys had a great Easter. Let's get into the fish. Now, one of the things that have come in, and he's, he's not showing all his nice colours here in the container, but we did get some different axolotls in. Now, they called them leopard axolotls. Now, they're not leopard. I was very curious. What is a leopard axolotl? Once they arrive, they are a melanoid, but they're a gold copper melanoid. They're not as gold as a normal gold axolotl. They're sort of a, a coppery gold, bit, bit, bit of green to them, if you, if, if you I could say that. And they've got these little greenish spots. Very hard for me to show you on camera there. was going to try and pull him out of the container so I could show you his coloration. However, I'm just a little bit worried these guys are super slippery that he might slip onto the floor. We've got three of these in stock, so if you are looking for something different, we do have three of those. They are a copper melanoid axolotl. Also known as a leopard axolotl. Now, these guys... Hengliai raspora, otherwise known as the pork chop raspora. It's a tiny little nano fish, sort of got this shape of black like a pork chop on it. That's why they call it the pork chop raspora. And a little bit of fluorescent orange around that black. You know, it's the same as like a glow light tetra, that really vibrant orange. Very similar to the Hengliai. I mean, the Hengliai and the SBI. The SBI, personally, is my favorite, a little bit more orange in them. But this is your Hengliai. Another tetra is your diamond tetra. Now, the diamond tetra doesn't look anything like it would now, like it does once it grows up. These guys, uh, they get the name. They've got these mirror scales on their body that look like diamonds. Therefore, they call them the diamond tetra. Now, these guys I love, though. My son has these at home in his tank, and he absolutely loves them. I love them. I, I didn't think much of them until I got them, but once I got them in the store, they are incredible. These are your gold tetra. They're just a the roadway tetra, but they call, they call them the gold tetra because they're wild caught and they pick up a parasite and it's not like a, oh no, they've got worms. It, this, this guy, is it's sort of parasite goes with this fella and makes it excrete a enzyme that looks like gold dust on the fish. They're really, really metallic. They really, really stand out in your, in your tank. Now, the thing about these guys, if they're bred locally, they don't turn gold because they can't pick up that parasite. And it's not something going to spread in your tank, so don't freak out about it. Now, these guys have been coming in really, really nice lately. However, there's too many in a bag when they arrive, so they chew each other up to pieces with their fins. And this is your uh, blue killies. But there has been some really nice males coming of late. It's just a shame that the fins do get a little bit damaged in transit because they tend to nip each other. However, it does grow back really quickly, and it's the same when we ship them to you. They do tend to get a little bit nippy in those bags, but they grow back. Oh, these guys have got some amazing color. Look at these guys. Now, they look to me, they're just your standard balloon rams. They're not the um, sunsets that are kicking around at the moment. These are your gold balloon rams, so they get a little bit of red on them, really bright yellow head on them into sort of a uh, platinum-y silver body in the belly. They're a really cool fish. These are looking really fat and really healthy. They are, look at that beautiful looking fish. Now we've got another balloon ram in today. Now some people do call these platinum. However, these are your gold head neon blue rams. Now these guys have got a sort of a blue iridescent body. They're not as deep a blue as a normal neon blue. And then that's probably why they call them platinum. But look at the gold head on them. Beautiful gold head. These are probably the best quality balloon, neon blue gold heads I have seen. They are really, really nice looking fish. They are looking really healthy as well. They are cool. This is your neon blue ram. So we're well, saying they were the balloon gold heads. This is your standard neon blue ram. Or some people call them... Um, electric blue uh, ram because they've got that really electric uh, iridescent blue coloration throughout the whole body. 
And this is your balloon version of your neon or your electric blue ramp. Balloon meaning a short body, uh, not as not as easy to keep as the regulars. And they never come in really a good size. This is a standard, about the same size as your thumbnail. Um, these are cool little fish. There's actually some long fins in there as well. And another ram. This one is your balloon blue ram. Okay, so just the standard blues, but again in the balloon form, meaning it's short bodied. And they are, they are looking really cool. The rams are actually looking really, really healthy at the moment. Really good batch of rams kicking around. Now, we sold out of these, and funny enough, we couldn't get any, which is quite odd. The Otto Sinkless. Okay, so the little Otto, it's a great little sucker. Really good for those nano aquariums. The myth on this guy is he eats blackbeard. Maybe he does help trim down your blackbeard a little bit, but he's certainly not going to eradicate it. But they're a great little nano sucker, and they go really well with your cherry shrimp. They're not going to eat your shrimp. So that's the great thing about them. All right, some whip tails. Looks like not long nose whip tails. Nice. Yeah, all looking nice and healthy. About five or six in there. They're pretty cool looking fish. And you can see from that tail there why they call it a whip tail. It's got a long stringy tail on it. And it's got a long pointy nose on it. That's why it's called the long nose. Now, these guys are fantastic. This is your upside down catfish. Look at the size of them. You very rarely see them in the shops this big. And you can see there why they're called upside down. See them swimming upside down? That's literally what they do. Now they'll flip over like that guy just did. They'll flip over and those ones up the right way. So they'll go either way, but they generally tend to hang upside down. Uh, they'll go to the bottom, flip over and scavenge for food and then resume swimming around upside down. So this is your upside down catfish. These guys are on our website at six centimeter. They're easily over that. I think if you put them on a rule, they're gonna be like eight plus centimeters, but they're being advertised as a six centimeter upside down catfish. We do have also your four centimeter upside down, and they are not even half the size of these guys. So if you want a larger upside down catfish, now is the time to get some. They are looking amazing. They're really, really big fish. All right, moving on. Holy dooly, check out this guy. Look at the size of this angel. It is, it is, it is, there's my fist. It is bigger than my fist. It is massive, big head on it. Absolutely incredible, stunning fish. If you're looking for a big centerpiece fish, come on down. We don't normally tend to ship these guys. We normally just put them in the store and they sell out in store. We don't like we normally shipping them. But if you're local, come down and have a look at that guy if you like your angelfish. And here's another one. So that one, well, it looks like it might have been a blue or a zebra. This is a platinum. It's not as big and impressive as that other one, but still a beautiful big fish. Looks like another one here. Nope, not another one. Stunning fish, though. This is your copper leopards. Now, these are being advertised 15 centimeters. They're easily bigger than 15 centimeters. These are your copper leopards. So they've got that real spotty pattern, and they're sort of a yellow copper color. Yeah, you imagine the color of copper. That's why they call them copper leopards. Got two more of those in today because they sold out last week, and I managed to get two more. We did have some super red leopards as well. They sold out over Easter, and I couldn't get any more. All right, so these guys have been, they disappeared for a while. They've been kicking around again. This is your leather jacket or your, uh, your Freddy Cichlid. Doesn't show any color there in the bag, but we do have some in the tank here in the store already showing some nice cut yellow coloration. So that's your uh, Freddy's or your leather jacket cichlid. Another cichlid here. Looks like a little Malawi hawk. Cool fish. Love them. The guys, once they get them on some colour food, these guys are sensational. They are a predatory fish. They are a large Malawi. Okay, so be mindful. They do require a bigger tank. And they're up, they will literally sit in the spot and gobble up a little fish that swims fast. So be mindful of that when you're buying them. All right, we do have quite a lot of khakis coming in today. Uh, you pissed the top grammar, sorry, coming today. Including these super red kakatoides. Uh, these have come in today. We have, I believe, some... Mega Orange have come in today, and with the other Kuri that's meant to be coming, there's a whole heap more uh, 
beautiful epistogram is coming to. And we still have some of those gold cacks here. I can't believe they're still there. Those are looking nice. Frontosas back in stock. We sold out again also over Easter. Just your sit is it just your standard six bar uh, Burundi? But you know, at least we've got some back in. We do have some seven bars out there, and I believe we've got one or two black widows left in stock as well in a large size. All right, so this looks like uh, a zingu. A zingu? Yeah, yeah zingu peacock bass. Okay, so it's a bit smaller than last time, but we sold out of those real big jumbo ones. Being smaller, the price is expected to drop on them. I'm not actually sure what we paid for these yet, but you know. Hopefully we've got them cheaper than last time because they're a third of the size so we can offer a cheaper deal for you guys These guys grow incredibly fast incredibly fast and they'll gobble up everything in your tank as well Beautiful fish though the zingu peacock bass. All right looks like we've got a box of goldfish here For those goldfish lovers. I love these guys look and you can see why by the color these are your gold comets. They literally are bright yellow. They look like a cichlid and they look amazing in the ponds as opposed to your standard red or your regular orange comet. These are your golden comets. They are we're here on the camera. There's a little bit of natural light above us and you can see that beautiful yellow. So if you're into something different with comets, we've got red whites, we've got whites, we've got golds, we've got sharps, we've got your orange, also known as your reds. Heaps of different comets. There your red whites, beautiful red white. There's your white comets. Got a little bit of a yellow face starting on these guys, which is really cool. Talk about whites. Got some more white aranda in, and you can see the jelly or the wen just starting to develop on these guys. They're only five centimeters in size. They don't normally have a wen at this size, and there is still a lot in there without a wen. But you can see some of these guys just starting to develop that uh, gold wen there with nice jelly. So when it gets bigger, this guy's white with the nice yellow jelly head on them. They look really cool when they get big. They're not that cool when they look. This one here has got not much wen on it, but I'm sure they'll develop. They're really cool. And when we're talking about wen, for those that don't know, all right, here's a red cap. So these guys will go just like this, those white ones, but instead of a red jelly when on top, that head there, the other ones were yellow. So we've got these two beautiful nine centimeter red cap arandas in today. So we've got a heap of more arandas arriving in that shipment that hasn't turned up. I've got a customer that came in this morning for them. I haven't showed, so they're coming back. All right, so it looks like here, we've just got a standard bag. They're actually arandas. So, they're a red white aranda. I'm not sure if we brought them as fantails because there's some actually I'm pretty sure we paid for fantails. We're gonna sell them as fantails, but I can see there's definitely arandas in here. But we will sell those as a red white fanta. Ranch, the ranchu, okay. Ranchu, another amazing goldfish, has no top fin. With this guy, what we're looking for is that nice bent curved spine. We don't want this one's a little bit flat that's not what we're looking for we're looking for that short body curved spine no top fin beautiful ranchu now we already have some crackers of them in store we've got all different colors we've got reds red whites calicos white black all right another fantail and this is just a calico fantail so before we had those aranda fantail these are a calico fantail and these guys, we don't get these very often throughout the year, but they are pom-poms. Now, let's see if we can get it on camera. Uh, not really showing on the camera, but they're chocolate bronze coloration, and they get these, there we go, look at this one. You can see it on this one. Now, you can see these pom-poms coming out the nose little snotty nostrils coming out the nose. Generally the fish are a chocolate color or bronze color, a little bit of orange, but they generally get these pom-poms balls out the nose. They're really cool. That's why they call them pom-poms. Sad day at my house this week. I talk about these every week 
And I come home, and I don't know what happened. Maybe he got stuck shedding. But my electric blue yabby that I have at home and I talk about, this guy is not going to let go of the bag. Oh, he just let go. The electric blue yabby, all right? This guy here, and you can see the blue against my blue. They're quite blue, but they get intense, intense blue as they grow. I talk about mine at home every time and how amazing and how blue it is. This guy's going to bite me. Yeah, he's gone for me. I'll get him. Ah, he's getting me. I'll get him in the water. He's going to head nip me. My one at home sadly died this week. I lost him. Sometimes don't have enough calcium in the water. Probably what happened. The guy didn't shed that well, and I lost him. And he was intense blue. So I'm going to have to take home some uh, again and get them up nice and blue because I love them. All right, we've got some Bozeman Eye rainbows in today. Now, if you have a look there, the Bozeman Eye. That beautiful bicolor yellow, sometimes they're yellow and red, sometimes they're yellow and blue. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow. I've got big ones at home, and I've got some larger ones in today. Sadly, these are all sold. There's no more of the large ones left. They're all gone. They're gone during the unboxing process today. But we wanted to show you them anyway. But we did get some of the small guys in today as well. So they're not as big as these guys, but they're a fraction of the price. They are quite expensive as they get bigger. Um, but yes, we did get some more Bozeman Eye in today. And these guys, they're amazing fish. These are neon blue rainbow or the Praycox. The Praycox gets an iridescent shiny blue with an edging of a, either orangey, yellow or red around the body. You feed them good color enhancing foods like Aquamunch, that uh, edging goes really, really red. All right, onto some guppies. Now these sold out through the week and you can see why these are your japan sky blue guppies males and females now i've got plenty of males left outside everyone's coming down and buying the females and you can see why look at the tails on them look at the size that they are the golden body iridescent shiny blue tails this is it guys this is the last of them there's meant to be 16 in the bag I, there's probably two bags because there's only about eight in there. Okay, so come on down and get them before they're gone because you won't get them like this again. We took some of these to the auction uh, last weekend and auctioned them off to the public and they sold for more than what we sell them for in store. All right, that shows you how good they were when you see them. Okay, so come on down to the store and grab them before they're gone. Some other guppies we've got. Black Moscow, male and female black Moscow guppies. And you can see it being black Moscow, full black in the body from the tip of the to the tail, big tails on them. That's the males, that's the female. So black Moscow pairs are available. Sparkle grommies. Looking for more guppies. All right, we've got some sparkling grommies. These are great little nano grommie. Uh, for the aquarium they don't get very big up to two and a half centimeters sort of in size they call them sparkle grommies because they've got these little pearly sparkle scales on them they're quite a cute little guy and they won't hurt your shrimp as well some more grommies these are female by the looks of it female i reckon yep female yep definitely female coral blue grommies so i do like these in the female because they're almost as pretty as the male they're an intense blue beautiful thing now these grommies, they are dwarf grommies. They do get a little bit feisty though. Just be mindful of that. These are your standard dwarf grommies. Okay, so these are your red and blue stripy ones. That's the male. We did get females in as well, which have probably been put away. However, if you don't, if you don't like those type of dwarf grommies, these guys are a much better choice. This is your honey grommie. Your honey grommie is much easier to keep. Male and female are pretty. And in the reds they are, male and female both have color. And these are easy to keep and they're not as aggressive as those other dwarf grommies. Now they're dwarf grommies as well, they're smaller. Now, some beautiful sailfins coming today. All right, sailfin males. And we've got more of these coming today as well. So we've got some different colors in. We did get some silvers, some of these sort of calico -y orange ones. And the sailfin molly is that exactly what it is it's a molly with this huge massive sail top fin 
when the males are fighting, he literally, they wrap around each other. They do this little circling, and when he's trying to herd a girl in, he does the same thing. They put on an absolute amazing display of that top sailfin. They are quite feisty fish, so be mindful of that. They definitely um, can chase on your fish all around the tank, so they don't do well with uh, little peaceful fish. Now, we did get a heap of fighters in today, both male and females, but we're just going to show you a few. We've got some candy, koi in, beautiful males. We did, I think we've got some girls as well. This could even be a girl. Hard to see in the bag. Some mustards in the half moon mustards. Lavender. I had someone chasing one of these recently, and we've got another one in stock. So this is your lavender half moon. And we've got a whole heap of assorted placat males in. So just like this guy, they're just an assortment of colors of all different colors and patterns of your placat. So placat is your short tail, doesn't have a big flowing tail like your other fighters. All right, I think that might be it. There is definitely a lot more fish that come in today, but we're wrapping it up with that's all we've got to show you. Unfortunately, the other courier hasn't turned up. We ordered an assortment of some amazing uh, goldfish, bigger headed arandas, different colors of arandas, uh, bits and pieces from this other courier to really show you on camera. Hasn't turned up today, unfortunately, so uh, we'll have to come down to the store and have a look at that. Maybe we'll do a little video throughout the week of them. Now, be sure to watch next week's unboxing because there were some fish I ordered for today's live fish unboxing that somewhere along the line, they disappeared off my order. So we've rung the supplier. They're coming next week, and we've asked and organized them to arrive on Friday so we can feature them on our video. There's some really cool stuff, including fish that we've never had here before and my staff have never seen, and everyone is excited about them. There was only two available at the wholesaler. I brought both of them. So this is if you want to get them there. I'm not going to tell you what they are because you're going to have to watch and see next week. But they will be worth it. So tune in next week at 1 p.m. Friday uh, for our next live fish unboxing. And that's it from me, guys, this week. Come to the store, 11 Pike Street, Cunder Park. We're open seven days a week. We don't open public holidays, although we did open Easter, and it was crazy. I don't know how we can handle that again. Or if you're not local, of course, shop online, www.aquariumcentral.com.au. If you spend over $150 in live fish purchasing, we ship it to you free. That's in live fish only. If you have dry goods and you're only spending $150 in dry goods, you still have to pay the freight. It's something very cheap, though. Uh, so we jump online, have a look what we've got. We try to add all these fish, including all the other fish that arrived today online. That's it. See you next week.